Brainstorm MTG. I'm ELD, and this is Fast Effect Double Speed Magic the Gathering from Time Ball Games in Bellingham. Here we have Adam, two time Brennan, on a depths build. Exactly what speed of depths it is as this match unfolds. Ben, on the other hand, on a Grixis control list, really eschewing most of the Modern Horizons cards. We're not Brennan 6 or Astrolabe, Snow Basics. He is running cards like Narset, Jason Sculptor. Other War of the Spark cards, Lily Triumph, Arth's uh, Artifact. They sacrifice an artifact, a creature, or a planeswalker, whatever you choose. So, really leveraging a three color mana base. Powerful effects. Finals versus Adam. Could have a good match here in all likelihood. Saturday, probably going to be in the past by the time this video. Up for Grixis. Passing. Probably my favorite card in the. X allows for the trickiest. Now we've got a him to Torok. Nothing tricky about that. Just raw card discipline. Get the two best cards in your excess thespian. Uh, probably not the best. Now a Empire Hexmate. That gets Force of Will pitching Snapcaster Mate and not playing around versus the build another him to Torok and that gets a crop rotation out of hand that nurturing peatland actually perhaps was uh, amongst the best cards in the hand does it not allow crop rotation to happen crop rotation into a dark depths which would have made some inevitability just two black mana and on the other hand, able to continue digging with Narset. Now her static ability not bearing in this matchup outside of perhaps forcing Adam to be active on when he uses his card draw. A couple of Baleful Strixes. Those guys are very significant speed bumps when you're talking about a Merit Lage combo. Fire Hex Mage coming down. That gets Lightning Bolted and comes in. Elfal Strixes. Ox Diamond pitching Wasteland into Elvish Reclaimer. That guy gets Fatal Pushed. Still just a top deck away having a 2020. Bolt in hand. That's going to take a Duress or a Triumph. Easy choice there. Lightning Bolt. Not really going to do much aside from potentially end the game if it gets to that point. But this Jace the Mind Sculptor, most likely the bigger threat. And going to be able to be sacrificed on Ben's turn only. Our set going to prevent card drawing at any other time. True name Nemesis. Draw out of it. Would have been an amusing line. Copy it with Thespian Stage as well. Just in case. Sacrifice this. Get another draw later. No realm of possibilities. Especially if you hire Hexmate. That stick. Lightning Bolt. Complicate that. Likelihood. Probably best to just. As quickly as possible. Lightning. Sideways. And being super cautious, keeping both Baleful Strixes. Got a Shatter and a Shock. Now swinging out along with that Lightning Bolt to close things out. So Ben able to get 
The rains very quickly there. Him to Torok, super punishing. It's combo deck. Depths build now running Elvish Reclaimer. That has honestly kind of changed it fundamentally to be able to also be a beatdown deck. Past you had Vampire Hexmade, Elvish Spirit Guide. Spirit Guide not really a reasonable beatdown creature. Three mana for a two-two. Uh, I mean, it's it's just not quality. But a one mana three-four win some games with that, and we've been seeing matchups where people particularly over sideboard really try and make sure that there's absolutely no that 2020 can enter the battlefield or if it does it's easily handled you move too far in that direction and lose to some fairly reasonable beats i mean you can have a turn one three four a turn two two one creature that really trumps everything in uh, combat almost everything in the format with first strike two power Pretty short list of creatures that can really stand up Vampire Hexmage right now. Redhorde Arcanus probably notable. Of course, Gurmag Angler does trump just about everything, as does True But Delver of Secrets, any goblins, most of the creatures, Death and Taxes. Really, a lot of them have a really tough time dealing with that first strike. Adam with his back up against the wall here. Force a game. See, he gets the play. Prop rotation and, and one of the trickiest cards in the deck. Also one of the riskiest. You have to sacrifice the land. Part of the casting cost, we see prop. Sorry, Mox Diamond. They turn one him to Torok. So Ben asked, how does he like it? Good force of will without fearing the force of will back. Go ahead and pick two. Gets an eight parts. Eight rampage. A sorcery speed. Picked. Not really particularly good. On a little bit of a critical mass of those effects if possible. Helpful tricks. Two, start putting up some stumps for a merit lead. Dedicated depths. This you have ways around. Helpful strix, you can do Sajiri Step. <clears throat> Sajiri Step, the most common. Headboard cards essentially let you fling the Merit Lage. Now we have a on the horizon. Dark Depths is on the battlefield. Looks like we may just see this combo play out beautifully. This Elvish Reclaimer. Selling me. Oh, and actually, crop rotation. So just going for it right now. Thespian stage lands. Then the shields are down. See if he's got it in his deck. Thespian stage targeting dark depths. Being a 2020. Up draw. Oh, and he drew the Sajiri step off the top. Thought we were going to get to see him tutor for it with the Elvish Reclaimer. Instead, he just draws it like a champion off the top. Now it's one game apiece. Probably the best thing he could have drawn there would have been S. I guess it doesn't really matter. They only had the two man. Pretty much Sajiri step was the only thing happening that turn. Either way, uh, but he just naturally off the top. You know, it's efficient. You don't have to shuffle. Look for your uh, for your library for it. Draw the card you need right there. 
Now, Ben, on the play, plenty of time. Actually, a consideration when playing decks like this, sometimes you can find yourself in kind of no-win situations. Have enough time to win the match. At best, getting a draw. Tough. Lots of trying. Start here. A bog. Ibujukabog essentially just for mana. Elvish Reclaimer into play. I will pull the combo together. Looking at a next turn 2020. I have an answer for this. Double fetch. Bottom of the deck there. A mind sculptor does bounce tokens. Yep. Getting the Dark Depths now. Get the Thespian Stage in hand. Hard cast. Higher Hex Mate. Double Remotion. Hexmate able to soak up Elvish Reclaimer able to soak up Dict Effects. later it seems like this just be it it looks like you might be able to just make the 2020 now Little push taking out around all sorts of stuff here. Stop the baleful strixes to a degree. Hard off of is of... 
feel mana problems on Blood Moon, but that I'm going to need to find a way to unlock. Here with this play. Elver ish. That gets Force of Willed. Got him off of his. That if he gets to Abrupt Decay, he's not going to be able to counter the Abrupt Decay. Horizon Lane, perhaps her Black Org. Hard in hand. Bolt clearing the plate engineer. Point comes through. Dark Depths comes in with zero count. Blood Moon still does apply, however. Her type does not go. Anna. Depths don't. How much green mana is the. Turbo Depths builds that have guides, petals. from Adam off of his swamp problem cards tyrant scorn fires a read does answer the merit lage that goes to the bin a work to do find a way to get the merit lage into play and past a bit of tricks to jace the mind sculpt bounce it Empire Hexmage would have been a lovely answer to the Jace, removing all of its counters. Herborg. Now we're facing down the ultimate of Jace. That is going to do it. So Ben holding on. Unable. Find a way to get that Dark Depths with Adam Brennan this time. But a very good match. Well played on both sides. That is all for this one. But don't worry, there is a lot more. Uh, you can check out our older videos. And we're always putting out new videos from ELD's Time Vault Games in Bellingham, Massachusetts. If you want to help the channel, of course, you can like, subscribe, share, tap that notification bell so you can know uh, the next time our new videos come out. Thanks for watching.